Hello, my name is Justin Adams, and welcome to Jay's Days. Or should I say, welcome back to my 25 days of Christmas movies. It's the time where I handpick certain Christmas movies, and I talk about them, critique them, and I say whether or not they'll be worth your time. Guys, I like Christmas movies, believe it or not, even though I, I think I've only given a positive review to only a few of the movies I've reviewed. But I do, I really like Christmas movies, especially the animated ones. I think that they get, they have the ability of either A, making me a cynical prick, or B, giving me my childlike wonder again. And I like it when B happens. I like it when I, I see a movie that, that makes me feel tingly inside because I'm like, oh, wow, I wish, I wish I saw this movie as a kid because it would, it would brighten my horizons. It would... And then there, there are movies that are just A. And it just seems like lately we're just getting movies that fall under the A category. The movie I'm going to be reviewing right now is a movie that I just randomly saw on Amazon Prime. Just like what I did with Pete's Christmas. It's a movie that I've seen around, but I just I was like, nope, it's not on my list. I'm not going to do it. But I saw the cast list, and I saw the great Andy Griffith as Santa Claus. So, automatically I was like, oh. I'm doing this. If you guys don't know Andy Griffith, Andy Griffith has been a part of my life for a long, long time. This is one of my dad's favorite shows. If we're not watching Columbo, then it would be the Andy Griffith show. He loves, loves, loves this show. That is Andy Griffith right there. So, Knowing that he was going to be voicing Santa Claus, I was automatically set for this movie. Oh, but boy was this movie weird. This movie is about Sophiana. She is an orphan girl who finds out that uh, there used to be a thing called Christmas. Now let me back up a little bit. Before we get introduced to Sophiana, we find out that Santa's sack has been stolen. So. After Santa Sack has been stolen, we find out that he cannot deliver presents anymore. So 30 years goes by. Yeah, that's right. 30 years goes by, and people have forgotten about Christmas. They don't even know what it is anymore. So now this elf who is frozen for some reason gets thought out by Sophiana, and he explains that there's this thing called Christmas. And so Sophiana wants to help and to, to retrieve Santa Sack and ultimately save Christmas. Mmm. The problems with this movie, the problems lie with, um, let's start with the cast really quick. First off, Jay Leno narrates, and then Andy Griffith, I already told you about him, Norm MacDonald is in this. <laughs> if, you don't, if you know who Norm MacDonald is, then he's just, he's just silly. Oh yeah, and Ed Asner is in this. There, there's just, there, there are people that are, that provide their voices. Now, Jay Leno narrates, and he, he provides the most pointless use of narration ever used in a movie ever. It literally just says things that that the characters are Now now one major problem with this movie is uh, for a musical the, the songs are so bad. So bad. Here's a lyric. Um we have lost Santa's sack. The sack that he holds on his back. Oh can't we get it back? So those are the elves. And then we cut to, and then it goes to the guy who stole the sack. I forgot his fucking. It goes, it goes a, a zoom to his face, and he's like, I stole Santa's sack. The one he holds upon his back. And I don't intend on giving it back. Wow. And believe it or not, they repeat the song over and over and over again. Sophiana is the stereotypical poor orphan who is so sweet to everyone, but everyone else just treats you like shit because the writing is bad. The animation is pretty fucking lame too. Like they just throw in the most random. Here's this, there's snow and the mountain. And there are some trees. It's just it's so poorly done. Now this is the second movie where I've seen Santa Claus 2 has an eating disorder. 
I don't get why these movies are doing that. Do they think that this is funny or are they just trying to crush the child in me saying that Santa has a fucking eating disorder? But even though the rest of the movie pretty much lacks, I think the story is pretty interesting. It's set in a world where Christmas is forgotten about and I think that's kind of cool and they could have done some stuff with it. But instead it sabotages itself with bad acting, bad writing, and terrible, terrible songs. I mean, it's there are some bad songs. They're not even singing. They're just saying things while music is playing in the background. And it's just so bad. And Norm MacDonald, he was singing too. And it makes me wonder why he was singing. And then the movie takes a 180 because some crazy ass shit happens. So we find out that Santa's sack, the reason why they need this sack and they can't just build another one is because... The, the cloth that was used is also the same cloth that was used to wrap around baby Jesus. Yeah, this movie just did that. It's now forcing religion down our throats. Whoa, whoa, movie, whoa. You just really want, you really want to die, don't you? You really just want to commit film suicide, don't you? Because that just did it for me. That did it for me. Not only do you have lame animation, lame voice acting, and fucking terrible songs that are not catchy or not anything. Don't have any kind of umph to it. No kind of umph to it at all. And then you decide to make Santa sack fucking Jesus' blanket? What? You don't know, you don't have any idea what you just did to yourself, movie, huh? You think that what you just did was a nice, clever twist, maybe. But no, they never talk about this ever again in the movie. The elf just mentions, that's why we have to get the sack. And then, that's it. That's it. And also, Sophiana has this cane the entire movie. I guess she's crippled. And they never explain why she has a cane. Why is she, is she has, does she have bad knees? Is she getting old? Does she have Benjamin Button disease? I don't understand most of the stuff in this movie. Overall guys, Christmas is Here Again is one of the worst animated movies I have ever seen. Not only are the songs lame and underwritten, but the animation is extremely lacking it. For an animated Christmas musical, the animation sucks, the Christmas spirit is in the wrong place, and the music is so fucking bad. You guys have heard me say that a million times, but it's true. Even the voice acting talent by Andy fucking Griffith is wasted. That hurts me. You can't have Andy fucking Griffith play Santa fucking Claus and give him a goddamn fucking eating disorder. Guys, don't do that. Alright guys, that's what I think about Christmas is here again. What do you guys think about it? Have you guys seen it? Don't do it. All right, guys, if you want, you can follow me on Twitter. At I'm just underscore 420. Guys, if you want, you can, you can subscribe, you can like, you can share. You can do all of those things. Please stay tuned for my 25 days of Christmas movies where I just sit around and I just watch Christmas movies and I either complain or I give them rave reviews. It's great stuff.